Now, should I as a man or a woman or whatever not get rid of those memories, those impressions? Should I not start a different life in such a way that automatically those impressions will be obliterated. Hmm? Now, if this has, would happen to me, I'll go out and find myself a beautiful girlfriend, that's for sure. <laughs> because I have my physical needs as I need to go, because everything is biological, as I need to go to the bathroom, I need food to eat to sustain this body. I need some comfort. I need peering, looking deeply and floating away, melting away in my beloved's eyes. For I am existing with a reality which is my body and my mind, though in essence it is unreal, but for the moment of three score years and ten. Let me do the best with it I can. Why not? Who could deny me that right? Hmm? And why should it be denied? to me. Do you think all these organs we have are there just for the fun of it or for the show of it? Do you think I have ears and I must not hear? Or I have eyes and I must not see? Or a nose and not smell? Or any other organ of my body that has been there? created through an evolutionary process and not to be used? Why should I not use every organ in this body of mine to its fullest value, honestly and sincerely? Not lustfully or selfishly. You see? So these guys come over, these monks, with all their monkey business, <laughs> and say, become celibates, become this, become that, become this, and I don't know what all. I say, become yourself. Be yourself. You agree with me, Professor? Be yourself. How can I make myself be myself? Uh, how can I make myself be myself? And the answer to that riddle is so simple. Do you know that beautiful hymn, which I like very much? Lead the army on kindly light. Hmm? Hmm? One step at a time is enough for me. Don't you know that beautiful hymn? What's wrong with the Americans? <laughs> Lead the army on kindly light. One step at a time is enough for me. Like that it goes on. We'll try and find it in some song book. It's, it's pretty beautiful. It's my favorite hymn. Right. I forgot the words because I've absorbed the meaning. There's your secret. Absorb and forget that which is extraneous. 
Why load yourself up with the words? But once you've absorbed the essence, you don't need the words. What can I do to make myself into what I want to be? Firstly, I must admit to myself that I'm living a fragmented life. Part of my mind is pulling that way, part of my mind is pulling that way, part of my mind is floating up there in Chicago, and another part in somewhere, some heaven or some hell, or all over the show. Which has no existence in reality. For if my wife dies tomorrow, I don't even want to know where the hell she is. I'm sure she'll be in heaven because she goes through hell with me. There's <laughs> 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 no job looking after a guru. Nevertheless, besides the point, admit to oneself that I am fragmented. Lead thou me on kindly light to integration away from fragmentation. Let me be whole. Let me function in this life holistically. Let me not find any more the discriminatory factors between body, mind and spirit. Let me regard it to be one continuum. And this continuum, after finding through spiritual practices and meditation, when you find this continuum of your self, mind, body and spirit, this continuum will extend and extend and develop so much that the entire universe becomes you and you become the universe. So then, what importance would dear Lata assume in my life. She was part of my existence for a certain period of time. We served each other well, we did the best for each other, and the body had to drop away, so it dropped away. What can I do about it? Am I going to mope about it all the time and make this little life that I've got left, I don't know how long I'm going to live, two years, five years, ten years, fifteen years, and make those few years that are ahead of me into a living hell and a misery. Because every thought you think in a miserable way is definitely going to affect the one that I have loved and that is not here with me. So I am doing her a disservice. I'm not doing her a favor. Because my misery, while she is in a different dimension, 